For a while now, I've been thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could run a Power Automate flow from inside Excel using Office Scripts, say? Because the thing is that if we're using Office Scripts, they are bound inside the workbook that we're currently using. So if we run a script in one workbook, it can't change the values in another workbook. But if we used a Power Automate flow, that gives us the cross application functionality that we need. Now, currently there isn't an official way to do this. However, in this video, I'm gonna show you a trigger that we can use so that we can create this effect and we can run a Power Automate flow from Excel using Office Scripts or even VBA. So if you're ready, let's get started. So let's start here in Power Automate and create our flow. I'll come across and click Create. And this is going to be an instant cloud flow. I'll select that option. Let's give our flow a name. Run Power Automate from Excel. I'll then scroll down and find the trigger that's called when an HTTP request is received. Check that option and then click Create. Okay, I'll expand this step and let's have a look through the options that we have in here. The first item is the post URL. As soon as we click Save, a unique URL will be generated and we'll be able to copy that to use as our trigger. We're not using the request body JSON schema at all in this video, but we are using the method. So inside method, we can decide what kind of URL action we want to undertake. So it could be get, put, post, patch, delete. For our current example, we're using get. The next field is the relative path. This allows us to send parameters from Excel into Power Automate or from whatever application we happen to be using. In this example, I'm going to use two parameters. The first one is called user, and then the second one is called application. I can keep adding more parameters by adding a slash and then entering them between curly brackets. For now, I just need those two. Okay, now let's add another step. It doesn't matter what these steps are for this example. So I'm just going to keep things simple and apply a new step that sends an email. I'll search in here for email and then select send an email from Office 365 Outlook. In the top, I'll enter the email address. Then I also need to enter a subject, which I'll enter as PA flow from Excel. Then in the body, I'll type the flow was run by. I'll select my user parameter, type from, and then select the application parameter and end that with a full stop. So now this email will have two dynamic elements. It will say the flow was run by and whatever username I provide to it, it will enter there. It will say from and then whatever application name I give it, it will enter that in there. Perfect, our flow is complete and now I'll click save. If I come back up to my trigger and expand that, we can see that that first field now shows a URL. This is the unique URL that we will use to trigger this flow. I'll click the copy button and we're going to use that in a few moments time. Now there's one key warning here and that is to not share the URL. This is an open URL that anybody could run from anywhere at any time. So make sure you keep it secure and private with inside your organization for only those who need to know it. Right, now let's head over into Excel and see how we can use this. So here we are in Excel. I'm going to select cell B2 and paste in the URL that we copied from Power Automate. Now you'll notice that this URL contains the user and application parameters that we set up inside our flow. And because this URL is just text, that means that we can either change the value of the parameter by hard coding the value in, or we can use Excel's text functions to change the values dynamically. To keep this illustration simple, I'm just going to change these values inside the URL itself. So for user, we're going to submit the value mark, and then for application, we'll submit the value Excel. 
So now if I click on this URL, it will launch a browser. It will then run that flow. So if I come into that email address and select that email, we can see that the flow was run by Mark from Excel. So that means that URL has worked. We have now sent something from Excel into Power Automate. Power Automate has then created that email for us and sent it to this email address. Now the parameters that we've used are quite simple. They're just two words. But if we want to create more complex parameters and use any special characters, even a space character, then we have to encode those parameters in the right way. So if I enter the words Excel off the grid into cell B8, that would not be a valid parameter because it contains spaces. If we wanted to encode this as a URL, it would need to include the percentage sign and 20 in place of every space because that is the URL encoding for the space character. So it would need to be like that. So Excel, percentage 20 off, percentage 20, the percentage 20 grid. Excel has given us a useful function to deal with this. So I could type equals encode URL, open the bracket and then click on Excel off the grid, close that bracket and press return. And that's now encoded that text correctly for us. So we could now use that text within our URL. Unfortunately, the encode URL function doesn't work in Excel online but I will put a link to an article by W3Schools which shows all of the references that we can use for encoding our URL. So it doesn't matter whether we're using Excel desktop and we can use that encode URL function or if we're using Excel online then we might have to do a bit of extra work to understand how that encoding is undertaken. So we've seen that we can click that hyperlink and it will open up that browser and execute that flow automatically. But that means that Excel is going to create these browser windows unnecessarily. It'd be better if we could run this URL without opening a browser. And that's what we're going to look at next as to how we can do that using Office Scripts. If you're running Microsoft 365 and have an E3 or E5 license, then you should have Office Scripts available. At the time of recording this, it's available inside Excel Online and available inside Excel Desktop for those on the Insiders channel. That means it should soon be available for those on the current channel as well. So if you're using Desktop and you don't currently have the Automate tab, then try it over on Excel Online instead. So to create a new flow, click Automate and then click New Script. That will open up a code window. Now I've already got this code set up and working. So I will open my script and then go to edit. And this is the code that we need to use. You start by creating a new XML HTTP request. Next, we create a variable that references the cell containing the URL. So here I've referenced cell B2 of the active worksheet. So you may need to change those dependent on where you've copied your URL to. Next, we open up that HTTP request. We say that it's a get and it uses my path, which is our URL. And finally, it uses the send method so that it then executes that URL but doesn't open up a browser window. Now, it would be great if we could run this from a button. So I'll click here in cell B5, click on the more options and then select add button. There we go, the button has now been added onto our worksheet. So I'll click it and it should then execute our script that then runs our Power Automate flow. I'll select that, you can see that it's running the script. Perfect, our script ran successfully. Come back into our emails. And you can see that we now have another email that has been sent. The flow was run by Mark from Excel. Fantastic, so now we can run a Power Automate flow using Office Scripts from inside Excel. Now, if Office Scripts isn't your thing, then we can do something very similar using VBA. Press Alt F11 to open up my Visual Basic Editor, and you can see that we have some code here. It uses a very similar premise. So we define the sheet and the range, which contains our URL, 
then we open the XML HTTP request and then send it. So let's head back into Excel. I'll go to insert, create a shape. I'll right click on that shape, go to assign macro. So my macro is called run power automate. Select that, click OK. And now when I click this button, it will run the VBA macro that will then execute that same power automate flow. OK, that's been executed. And again, if we head back into the email address, you can see that we have this same email that's been sent by Power Automate. Well, that's it. That's how we can run a Power Automate flow from inside Excel. And we can use all of Excel's functionality to change out parameters or even change entire URLs. We can have multiple URLs and then decide which one we want to run. The automation potential for this is huge. So I hope you're able to use it and make the most of it. If you like this video, then please subscribe and like. And if you want to learn more about how you might automate Excel, then why not join our training academy over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.